I just got back from visiting France and part of my trip included visiting Paris again. And anytime that I'm there or any major city, I like to pay attention to the fashion. I like to notice trends and things that I'm seeing pop up over and over again. And it's a really great way to get a feel for what's functional and practical and see things go literally from the runway into real life. So I wanted to share some of the top ones that I saw with you today. So let's get started. So the first trend that I saw everywhere in Paris was those long tailored pants. And this is one of my personal favorites. I talked about this in my fall trends video and it's something that I've been wearing a lot myself because we've seen it the last couple seasons and I think it's gonna continue definitely for a couple more and hopefully a few more years into the future. And what I like about this is it's really comfortable. There's something really great about this silhouette because it's relaxed but also a little bit polished. And especially if you choose it in a color or a material that reads as very polished and put together, you have a lot of versatility. So I've got a couple in my own closet and what I love about them is you can dress them up or down. They work with heels, but they also work with sneakers. And since they're supposed to be a little bit looser around the foot area, you don't have to worry too much about the length being exactly perfect for one pair of shoe. And it gives you more flexibility. I brought a pair with me on my trip and I wore them a ton. They were perfect for the weather. They felt really at home with what I was seeing around me. And I just love them. So this is one of my favorites and something I was really excited to see in real life because when things are adopted in real life, they have a lot more longevity and they're things that we can expect to see for longer, which is something that I really love to keep my eye out for. The next trend that I saw everywhere in Paris was chunkier shoes. And I saw Doc Martens everywhere. I saw a lot of this kind of like lug sole or chunkier silhouette in most styles of shoe. But when it came to like boots and stuff, I saw a bunch of Doc Martens. And that chunkier style goes really well with those looser pants. It creates a really nice anchor point and a good balance and it tells a very specific story. And then also I saw these paired a lot with skirts and also jeans. And it's such a great functional shoe, especially if you do live somewhere that it gets cold or maybe it snows, because having that elevation and that chunkier sole protects you from the weather. So I know personally when I lived somewhere that got snowy and got really cold, I loved my chunkier boots. And even though I live somewhere that doesn't snow anymore, I still wear them a lot. And I brought my chunkier lace-up boots with me on this trip and I ended up wearing them a bunch. They're super comfortable, really functional, and really versatile, and they create a really beautiful balance to your outfit. So something I really love and something that I wasn't expecting to see, but once I started seeing them pretty much on everybody, it made perfect sense because I was remembering how I used to wear them so often myself and seeing as it's also now in line with what's trending, it just fits and I really love them. Another trend that I saw everywhere while I was in Paris is sneakers and sneakers are so great because they're functional and they're practical and like me when I was on vacation, there's something that I always bring because you walk a ton. So having something that isn't gonna make you your feet hurt is so important. So seeing inspiration everywhere was so great because I got so many different ideas. So I personally brought my Vans, my lace-up Vans, and I like this style for me because it fits the proportions of my outfits really well and I can wear them with, with uh, jeans or those longer pants. And I think they look great with both of them. And they're really comfortable for me. It's a style that I find really easy to wear. So I saw everything from Vans to Converse to those 550 to the chunkier Nikes and kind of every variety in between. And what's so great about sneakers becoming more popular is that we're having so many choices. So you can choose something that really suits your preferences and your personal style. And you can go for something really sporty, maybe a little chunkier, something a little bit retro or a little bit sleeker. And you have color choices that can suit your personal color palette. So this was really great to see for so many reasons because as sneakers become more and more more popular and accessible. We're finding so many really great outfits and I'm really excited to continue styling these myself because I neglected sneakers for so long because there was like one pair and when you would put them on, you felt like you were supposed to be a track practice rather than putting together a cute outfit. So having that accessibility has made a really big difference for me and I'm so excited to see this one continuing to be popular. Another trend that I saw everywhere while I was in Paris is those longer, looser jean styles. 
So much like the pants that I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this is reflective of trends in general and the silhouette kind of loosening up, becoming a little bit baggier, more lived in, more relaxed. And I saw this reflected in boot cut styles, wide leg, also just looser, baggier kind of vintage style jeans like that 90s style. And then I also saw what I personally really love is kind of that barrel leg style. And if you're petite like I am, when you cuff those, it creates a really beautiful tulip effect and it goes really well with a lot of things that I like to wear. It's a really versatile silhouette. And then also because it's a city, I saw a lot of darker colors. So a lot of dark gray, a lot of black, a lot of really beautiful dark blue. And those types of colors lend themselves really well to city living because they can't really get damaged and it's harder to stain them and kind of ruin them. But if you live somewhere that's a little bit lighter, maybe you live somewhere that's warmer, or you don't live in a city, maybe you live by the beach, going for something in a lighter wash is a really beautiful way to play with this one as well. And I'm so happy that I saw this reflected actually in what people were wearing because it's a really easy way to update your wardrobe. You can go for a different jean silhouette and everything else will feel fresh. The next trend that I saw everywhere while I was in Paris is a lot of really cute hairstyles and a lot of hair accessories. So I was seeing a lot of face framing layers, a lot of bangs, a lot of really cute claw clip hairstyles and different headbands and such a fun way to play with your hair and such an overlooked part of getting dressed for me personally because like I've mentioned I have a tendency to find like one hairstyle and then rely on that and not change it so I've been trying to break out of that and seeing so much inspiration actually in real life was really wonderful for me because it gave me a lot of really fun ideas and gave me that kind of push that I needed to when I was getting dressed before I would head out I would throw my hair into different hairstyles and experiment and one thing that I was really loving while I was there is kind of like that messy bun I wouldn't think too much about it I would literally take my scrunchie and throw it up in a messy bun and then let the face framing layers fall down and then not think about it and it was such a great way to get my hair out of my face but also add some interest to my outfits and something that I'm really enjoying carrying over as I've come home and something that I'm gonna do definitely for the rest of this season and then probably into the spring because one thing that I love about trends as they can move throughout the year is that you can adapt them to different weather and different outfits and right now wearing your hair up is really great for all the turtlenecks and the mock necks and then as we go into spring it will be really functional because I'll be able to get my hair off my neck so that I won't be warm when it starts to get really hot and last but not least is leather jackets now I expected to see this one because it's a city and leather jackets are really well suited for cities and then also this is a trend that I'm noticing everywhere and I think it's very functional and one thing that I really loved about seeing this one actually applied in real life is that there's so many varieties so I saw the leather trench coats I saw really vintage looking jackets I saw bomber styles I saw things that were oversized things that were fitted and the general theme tended to be that they were all leather jackets but that each individual style was chosen for that specific person it's so wonderful to see that and this idea of self-expression and personal style and finding what's truly perfect for you is something I'm noticing become more consistent in personal style and something that I really love because trends are really great when you use them to kind of update your wardrobe and you bring one or two pieces into your closet to make everything feel fresh and when those trends and everything in your closet has been so carefully chosen for you and you can tell that your personal style is at the forefront that's really really inspirational and seeing that applied in real life was so wonderful for me and I found it endlessly inspiring so I hope that this video kind of does that for you and you can get some inspiration maybe for your own wardrobe and definitely start to see things in a way that maybe can be applicable for your personal style and like always thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one have a great day